After a well-needed night's sleep, I awoke, said hello to the streets of Dublin, and took off to the horse museum. Because when you think of Irish horses, you obviously also think of Japanese gardens. The Irish National Stud Museum is located in Kildare, Ireland, under an hour down from Dublin. The path of adventure. You don't skip any path. I feel like I've lost a lot part of my life after those streets yesterday. So after a quick walk through the flowers, I came across the swans from hell. And I slowly made it past them. Now if you watch my videos, you know that horses kind of freak me out. And this sign, well it says it all. So soon I was on a tour of the horses here at the Irish National Stud. This place was established way back in the mid 40s and is the only stud farm open to the public in Ireland. I thought this was the sport of kings, not cats. As we toured around this immaculate facility, we learned some amazing facts about the horses that called this place home, as well as the horse industry as a whole. Some people will pay a huge fee and fly their horses here just to breed with these studs, and this is the breeding room. You can see it's well padded because these horses are worth more than you and me combined, and those pads on the wall help keep the horses safe when they're in intimacy. And there's also video cameras to make sure that everything happening is legit, because there is no artificial insemination in this kind of horse breeding. So it is all done the old fashioned way, you might say. After the tour, we were set free to go look around at the horses, and our first stop was a world-famous invincible spirit. I too would have an invincible spirit if women were flying around the world paying million dollars just to sleep with me. This horse has some huge stud fees, and just late last year, he set a record for having his offspring win over 40 races in America and Europe. Invincible spirit is insured for around 60 million dollars. Yep, 60 million. So I was honored to get a few pictures of him, since I'm personally insured for around $10. I wondered if he knew how much he was worth, or if he was just more concerned about playing in the mud. Everywhere we looked, we saw champion stallions, like this four-time winner, Jeremy. They all obviously were in great shape, and some even had hobbies, like this one. He was an art connoisseur. I like strolling around the grounds and taking pictures. Organized horse racing has been around for over 400 years. These thoroughbreds can live to be about 30 years old. Some will race just around age 2, 3, and 4 and that's it. These studs now are all separated from one another as male horses can be very territorial. But it was interesting to see them interact when they came near each other's fence. And even though they were boy horses, I wondered if they talked about each other like girl horses would. Like, did you hear how much people are paying to sleep with Invincible Spirit? And the clothes he wears. Or in their heads is it just a simple thought of, wow, this grass is really green and I want to eat it. Or is it true that the grass always looks greener on the other side? Who knows? Well, we left these horses that can easily weigh a thousand pounds to ones that weigh around a hundred pounds. And these guys were little. But on farms like these, they serve a purpose. Owners will walk around a little male to see if the females are in heat, as you would not want to run the risk of hurting your prized thoroughbred if she isn't, because one good kick could ruin a career. Makes me sure wish I had a little mini horse back in college. So we left these little horses to eat in peace, and I found out hay really is for horses. In the field with some of the yearlings were some sheep. Sheepies rock. These younger horses came right up to me. As they saw, a new stud was in town. A yearling is any horse that was born the previous year. So you want your horses born as early in the season, like January is a great time. Because you want them to be old as possible when that new year, January 1st, begins. And they all become yearlings. With spending so much time around the horses, I was slowly losing my fear. And to be an animal host, even a YouTube animal host, you need to know a lot of animal facts and be able to film when these animals get in the shot and spot off interesting facts like this. Horses eat food. Ah, so horses aren't my strong suit. We took off across the field and saw what happens when you don't win big. Ah, just kidding. These horses were sleeping. Sure must be nice to sleep the afternoon away.
Well, I had a great time looking at the horses. And it was time to check out the museum, where I saw and learned a lot of cool things. I purchased some items at the little store, and I walked away, feeling kind of horsey. Oh, and that evening we stayed at a B&B &B that had a one-eyed cow. I know that doesn't have anything to do with horses, but come on, it's a one-eyed cow. Hope you enjoyed this edition of Safari Ireland. Now for more information on animals and the places you've seen, just read the description below the video. And as always, thanks for watching.